video is all about breakfast and the plan is to show you an Argentinian breakfast or desayuno. Now we wanted to go to a really nice cafe that's near the Recoleta Cemetery. However, it's pouring rain outside so we just ran out of our apartment and found the nearest cafe and popped in. So we've placed our order, we are hungry and yeah, we're going to be showing you what breakfast looks like in this part of the world. So Sam, our breakfast has arrived. Breakfast Can you give has us arrived. A quick intro to I breakfast in Argentina. I am a very happy boy. Well, the cool thing about breakfast in Argentina is that they like to keep it simple and sweet, mm -hmm. and that makes it one of my favorite meals here. I'm pretty happy with what I ordered. I got cafe con leche, which is coffee with milk. The milk is super frothy, by the way, check that out. I'm not even a coffee drinker. I normally go for tea, but when in Argentina, you gotta do it right, gotta get some coffee. And then over here, I have my media luna, which is like a croissant. This one's made with butter. And I have facturas, which are little pastries. So this one is made with crema pastelera, which is kind of like a yellow cream, similar to Boston cream. Um, and this one is stuffed with quince jam. So super excited about that. This is gonna be a good breakfast. And I'm just gonna dig right in. I'm not waiting for you. Mm. So I bit most of the jam out, but we have a look inside. It's like a little croissant roll, a butter roll, stuffed with quince jam, which is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. So Sam, can you tell us what you ordered for breakfast this morning? I sure can. So if you take a look down here, mm -hmm. I'm having something called tostadas, which yeah. essentially is toast. Yes. And it's a massive generous I know, portion. That's a lot of toast. Six slices. Yeah, I, I was thinking maybe like two slices, but I've got no. six. <laughs> and what I'm most excited about here is this is like a whipped butter mm -hmm. and it looks amazing. So I'm just going to pour it, not pour it, spread it all over. Yeah. And then take a bit of a jam. I wonder what kind of jam it is. It looks like it may be cherry jam actually. Cherry or dark raspberry. So getting that ready. Let's see how good this toast is. That was some mighty fine toast. Starting the day with sugar. Oh yeah. So another cool thing that I haven't noticed anywhere else in the world is that when you order a coffee and something sweet here, like a croissant or a pastry or a piece of cake, you get a little glass with fizzy water. This is called agua con gas. Soda water. Mm -hmm. Soda water. Actually, this one isn't fizzy. This is like the first time this has happened. It's usually fizzy and it's really nice just to like cleanse your palate and move on to the next flavor. You need it with all the yeah. sugar that you have. This is the first non-fizzy water. I'm shocked. And beverage of choice this morning. Yeah, and for me the best part about Argentine breakfast is the coffee. The quality of the coffee is superb. And mm -hmm. I ordered one with con leche, cafe con leche, yeah. which means a generous portion of milk. And wow, is it ever good. I usually put in one pack of sugar, stir it around, and it's like perfection. It's magic. Perfection magic. in a cup. Have a sip. I could have this any time of day, not just for breakfast. And breakfast also came with orange juice today. It did. How's that? Is it from concentrate or freshly squeezed? You know what? It, actually, it tastes freshly squeezed, but the pulp's been removed. So mm -hmm. good quality orange juice too. We are going to be on some kind of a sugar high by the time we're done <laughs> all of this food and drink. And now for one final treat. Another thing we've noticed is that in some of the nicer cafes, they give you free sweets. So even though we ordered like a coffee with the croissants and the pastries, you still get a little something extra. And Sam's already claimed one of these. <laughs> yes, I get the one on the bottom. <laughs> so this one is like a, a little cake with dulce de leche. And I think it may be coconut on top. Just let me do a taste test here. Mmm, okay, yeah, wow. So the top layer is all shredded coconut, and then you have dulce de leche and like a little tart base. And 
This is the one that Sam really wants. Mini alfajor, dulce de leche, and coconut all around. And I'm going to. That's evil. <laughs> I won't do that. It's yours. It's all yours. <laughs> Would you say this is your favorite sweet treat in South America? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of scary how much I like this. I think I'm getting uh, addicted over here. Yeah, it's kind of scary how often you eat them. Well, you better savor that bite it's a tiny one. <laughs> well, as you can see, we had no trouble devouring that. Yeah, we so polished now, that all off. It is time for price points! Yes, yeah, so um, basically it was 60 pesos per person, which right now is like between 4 to 5 US dollars. Mm -hmm. And in some cheaper cafes you can get it for like 3, but this was like a really nice quality meal. Yeah. And they really, they really generous with their portions and the quality of the food was good, so excellent value I'd say. So you're satisfied, you can hold out Very much, I, I may need a siesta after breakfast. Oh, a morning siesta! 